uh, welcome back guys thank you so much and continue to watch my playlist and uh, you'll become a Google AdWords expert or you can learn to use Google Ads in a way which is very uh, experienced uh, or you know you start using it and you know getting more from it right continue to watch the other videos as well I bet by the time you finish off you become an expert at using Google Ads so today's topic I would be taking you through the different ad formats that you have in search network now search network I've been telling you again your ads will appear to people who are searching so when users search search terms their search terms match my keywords my ad will go to the auction right and you know how to create a search network campaign and you create campaigns ad groups ads and keywords right and I thought discussed about keyword match types negative keywords search term report and many others here I'll be this specifically talking about the different ad formats now when you create a search network campaign and you go to ads and extensions here you see these are the options you have text ad responsive text ad call only ad responsive display ad but I told you it is never recommended to create a responsive display ad in the search network campaign if you want to create a separate uh, if you want target display network you create separate campaign targeting that particular network let's not club search and display in the same campaign so you'll have text responsive search ad and call only now text ad I think you already are aware I already taught you if I click on the text ad you'll go and create a text ad and here you have headline 1 headline 2 headline 3 final URL display part description description 2 right no Prashant I don't want to go with that I we already discussed right and but if I go with this option called responsive search ad now when you come to responsive search ad remember the objective of the responsive search ad is to do this with responsive search ads you enter multiple headlines and descriptions and Google combines them into ads that means normally when you write an ad you write h1 h2 h3 but here in this case what you do is you don't create three headlines but you write up to 15 headlines and what system will do is system will automatically pick the one which is most relevant to a user based on their history and the search term and system will automatically put that particular headlines to the user but there is a certain option here in case you want to pin certain headlines you can have a certain headline pin that means whenever Google creates an ad that headline will definitely be served you see here you give the final URL and all those things and you get the display URL path 15 characters 15 characters again and you give 15 headlines here you see and not just that you can give different different descriptions as well and you have the option to pin the description as well so this is one option called Dyna, uh, responsive search ads where Google is asking you to create multiple headlines multiple descriptions and Google automatically chooses the best version and serves them to a user and uh, this is the second one and if I go back and say I leave this and I go to the ad section I click on the ad option and here you find call only ad now call only ad is a particular ad whose objective is only to drive phone calls right I have a separate video for call only campaigns please watch that video for detailed information about the purpose of creating a call only campaign and how you create that but remember the ad will only appear on mobile devices call only ads appear only on mobile devices and the purpose of call only ads is to drive people to call that means whoever sees the call only ad on mobile if they click on the ad they don't go to website they'll be taken to dial pad they call or they don't call it is secondary but you will be charged the moment user clicks on the ad and they go to dial pad so this is uh, these are the few ad formats that you have in search network so yeah display network display responsive display ads is for display network I'm not teaching that so particularly for search network so remember if you go to an interview there might be certain situations where they might ask you so it's good to be aware so I created one video for this continue to watch my other videos in my channel and remember guys I'm teaching you everything for free I want you to learn them to an extent that when you go to an institute you only go with the intent that you want to learn in practicals right you don't go and learn these things and waste time because by the time you've done this your time is over the institute classes will be done your course duration is completed so the practical thing that you need to make a career you'll miss out on that and there's no point without that right so continue to watch my videos and if you're interested go to my website prashanthrenigunthala.com and uh, I'd be happy to connect you I run two things I run a normal training we also give bootcamp it's India's first 100% real-time digital marketing immersive bootcamp you can check that as well I'd be more than happy to stay connected to you and uh, and, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. Thank you so much. I will see you with another video in my channel. Thank you.